Hello, Melissa Francis here. Um, when I teach classes, I'm constantly asked how to do a double bow out of our seam binding. You can see it here, it's really pretty. Um, and I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it. Uh, I'm gonna use red so that it'll show up on camera. Generally what I do is, um, I like to have it at least about 14 inches long. Um, makes it easier to work with, with the seam binding. So I'll just cut it. And then I generally start like this. And I have it so, I don't know if you can see here, um, when you, um, this one's kind of crumpled, when you're hanging it down, one's just a little bit longer. It's about an inch longer than the other one. And all you're going to do is um, make a rabbit ear. It's just like tying your shoes. That's what I tell all my students. If you can tie your shoes, you can do this, unless you're a Velcro girl. <laughs> um, then what I do is I just kind of hold the other, the short, shorter side back, and I just take the long side and I go around the loop and through the hole, just like you're tying your shoes. And you just pull it through like that. And then I like to bring the knot back. I like a lot of my bows, like um, like this one, um, to be about, you can see each each one is about an inch long, as you can see here. The key to um, getting the double bow is to make sure that the center, the knot in the middle is really tight. Then you're gonna see that one side is shorter than the other. So the shorter side you're going to do and you're gonna make the bow or the loop um, from the shorter side and you want it to be, you want to hold it as close to the knot as possible. You're actually going to kind of pretend that these don't exist. So when you start, remember how we started one side was longer, one side was shorter. So it's kind of the same concept and we're just going to kind of pretend that the loops don't exist. So we just make a loop and you hold it tight to the knot, take the long side, go around the loop you just made, go through the rabbit hole, just like you were told to make your your bows and when you tied your shoes when you were little and that's how you do a double bow and then at about one inch I just cut the tips the ends to uh, so that it's a bit of a point and there you go and if you really like vintage seam binding that look instead of like this one's a bit more crinkled there's two ways of doing it you can just kind of do this and kind of get it all wrinkled or there's another way what I do is I sometimes take a yard at a time or you can do bigger bats um, or batches and you just um, put it in water uh, squeeze out the water just like you would a washcloth and then I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then turn it over for another 30 seconds and boom you have crinkled seam binding we sell um, I believe over 50 different colors of seam binding on our site www.melissafrancis.com, M-E-L-I-S-S-A-F-R-A-N-C-E-S.com. Enjoy.